Hi, welcome to LC Engineering. Today we're going to be going over the 3RZ Balance Shaft Removal Kit. Part number is 1015050. The kit that you'll get is going to consist of the driver to remove the stock bearings and to install the inserts, the tap, the drill that you'll need, the uh, hardware and the oil jet, and the instruction sheet. Some of the basic tools that you'll need, obviously a drill, some Loctite or some, some thread sealant, uh, some tapping fluid, basic hand tools, sockets, tap handle, hammers, and a torque wrench if you go back to the factory torque setting. Okay, the first thing that we're going to have to do is remove the front timing chain cover. Now to do this, one thing you have to remember is you have to remove or at least loosen up the oil pan and the oil pan pickup tube also has to be removed because they are attached to the front cover. The hardware is pretty basic on the front and there's also a couple of bolts on the back side that you have to remove before the front cover can be removed. I've removed most of this just to speed up the video. The front cover should slide off pretty easily, which brings you to basically everything inside. Your counter shaft balance are here and here the chain, the tensioners, everything, and a lot of that is going to be removed. First thing we're going to remove is the uh, timing chain guide. Now these are going to get saved because they will be reinstalled. Now these are the parts that are not going to be reused. This. Now you can remove your chain. And now we can remove the counter shaft. Okay, the next step is we're going to be removing this dowel pin and it's not going to go back in there. So the one that's on the passenger side of the, of the engine, we're going to remove that and then right below it is the oil jet that we have to drill and tap and put a plug in. And sometimes these can be a little tough to get out. And I've already had this one out once so it's not too bad but a pair of vice grips will usually do it. Like I said, that's going to come out and stay out and then now we're going to drill and tap the hole. Okay, now we're going to drill the hole where this oil galley was. Now the main thing is we go deep enough that we can get the tap deep enough to where we can get the, the plug in flush, which is gonna be oh, a good three quarters of an inch of the drill is gonna have to be going. Okay, the next step is gonna be to tap where we drilled the hole here. And it's important that we go straight, use cutting fluid and Go slow with it because these blocks are tough. They've got a lot of nickel in them and sometimes it's pretty tough to tap. I've already started this just to speed the video up, but as you can see, you want to just do quarter turns, come back until you can get the, the tap deep enough to where the, the plug is going to be flush with the block. Now if you're doing this inside of running, you know, an engine that's not coming apart to get rebuilt. You can put a little grease on the tap to keep the chips from going too far down inside the engine and also like a shop pack or something to try to get the chips back out of the engine. The tap will have to go pretty far inside the block to get the plug flush. Okay, the next thing we're going to install the plug. Use a little bit of Teflon paste or a little bit of red Loctite. Now we've already cleaned out the where we have tapped it so there's no more metal shavings in it. And what you want is for the plug when it's tightened in is to be flush with the front of the block. Just like that. Okay the next thing we're going to do is use our driver and a hammer and we're going to drive out the bearing, the front bearing. You don't need to drive out the rear. Okay, so now we've driven it all the way through. 
And another reason you have to remove the oil pan is because the bearing's actually gonna come out of the bottom of the engine. And we'll go ahead to the other side. Okay, so the same thing on this side, now that we've driven the bearing out, it'll come through. Now sometimes if you're doing this on an assembled engine, you will have to turn the, the engine over a little bit to get clearance enough to get this back out of the bottom. Okay, you can see this is a stock bearing, and it's got a hole in it for the oil galley that runs up, and this actually feeds oil to your front countershaft balance journal. The one that we make doesn't have a hole, so it's basically plugging off, closing off the oil galley. Because without the countershaft balance in there, you don't need oil going up there. So we're closing off the hole with the new insert. Okay, now what we're gonna do is use our driver again, and we're gonna install the new insert. Get it lined up straight. This will pull a little bit of material, so you're gonna wanna get everything cleaned up before you put it back together. And we'll do both sides the same. Okay, the next thing we have to do is remove the two studs that were on the uh, driver's side front. You can do this a couple different ways. I prefer to use a double nut method where you put two nuts, jam them together, and then remove them. I've already got these loosened up. So these come out and they will not get reused. And now basically the front of the engine is ready to start reassembling. Okay, we're gonna now install the oil jet and the driver's side chain guide. The uh, shorter of the two supplied bolts will go in first. And it's gonna go in where the one of the studs was removed, the top stud. Now the chain guide is gonna go in with the longer bolt through the bottom. Get that lined up. Stock factory bolt will go back in the top. Okay, go ahead and torque the bolts back down. In the instructions, it'll tell you 14 foot-pounds. Okay, now we have our driver's side timing chain guide on, the oil jets on. The next thing we're gonna do is reinstall the crank trigger. That has to go back on because that's what spaces out the lower timing chain gear to be in alignment where it needs to be, just like it came off. The way it works is the oil feeds up through the jet and it's got a jet squirter it actually squirts down on top of this gear. So as it's running, it's got fresh oil supply to the gear in the chain. The last thing we're gonna do is reinstall the passenger side guide. Just use the factory guide and the bolt. Same thing, refer to your service manual. Torque the bolt down. It's basically refer to your service manual from this point forward and reassembling the front of the engine and timing and everything will be uh, according to the service manual. Basically we have laid out all of the parts that are going to come off of the engine that are not going to get reused. These are your countershaft balancers, the chain, all of the idlers, all of that.